Got some information you want to share? Send us an email at in the know at sassy CEO or tweet us at sassy CEO with an S at the end or post to our Facebook page. We're here to support you. Welcome to this week's edition of In the Know. We are so happy to have you here with us today. So a lot happened in the tech space this week, including the firing of Yahoo's CEO, Carol Bartz. We do not like to provide our opinion on such topics as this unless we have the full information. In this case, we do not. So we are going to respectfully refrain from providing our POV and hope that you understand that this week we saw four different companies receive funding. So who are these four lucky companies? Aura Bioscience, a biotech company working on chemotherapy agents, received $4.5 million in Series A funding and entered into a cooperative research and development agreement with the National Institute of Health. Indiegogo, the crowdfunding site, received $1.5 million in funding. Lennard, a social conference directory for conference organizers, attendees, and speakers, raised $1.4 million in seed funding from British investors and angel investors. And finally, Be Coupley, a mobile app that helps couples live social lives, secured pre-seed funding from Caper Capital. Be Coupley is also the first new me accelerator participant to receive funding. Congratulations to each of these companies on the funding. We know you'll put it to good use. Ever have the desire to work for a non-for-profit charity in New York City? Now's your chance thanks to Catch a Fire. They just expanded their program to allow anyone who resides outside of New York to volunteer their skills to help a charity in New York City. The platform is called Virtual Pro Bono. If you love to volunteer, check it out. At a time when job creation is all the buzz, Salsa Labs, an online organizing and fundraising service for nonprofits, associations, and political campaigns, is definitely doing its part. The company just opened up a new office in Reston, Virginia, and plans to create up to 75 new positions. Hey, Salsa Labs, thanks for doing your part. We greatly appreciate it. Now, some not-so-good news. It appears the government's budget deficit has had an impact on iRobots. iRobots learned from Boeing that its contract with the Department of Defense for the 320 SUGV robots with, has ended via a partial termination for convenience notification. Although iRobots anticipated this happening, it's still never easy. And that is your news for this week. Now you are in the know.